Hey, welcome back to RimWorld Science, where today we're looking at miniguns and other weapons with a similar kind of mechanic like the Charge Blaster. So these are area of effect weapons that use a force miss radius mechanic. Now I should say that I get all my information from Redditor Many and his super useful Reddit post on the topic from a few weeks ago. I put a link in the description, go check it out. And if I end up saying false things, that's on me. Uh, I should also mention that I'm using a, a mod he made, the Many Gun Handling Techniques Volume 3 mod for this video. What it does is it lets you aim at the ground as in addition to at like, you know, things, and also shows you what exactly the forced miss radius of a, a good shot is. All right, so on to the science. So what people often say with miniguns is that accuracy doesn't matter. Now this is kind of right, but it's also kind of wrong. So here I've got five colonists, Quinty here, with a 89% shooting accuracy, so that's pretty low, and with a uh, gun that is awful, so that's also kind of really low accuracy. And then I've got Hawkeye uh, here, five copies of Hawkeye, who has an accuracy of 99.52, and who has a legendary minigun, so much better accuracy. And so what we'll do is we'll have each one of them fire from nine tiles away, fire at uh, one of these deep drills. And if accuracy doesn't matter, it should take them about the same amount of time, you know, on average to destroy the drills. So let's see what happens there. All right, it takes some time, but uh, Hawkeye have gotten all of theirs down, all of theirs down, and these ones, these are still at 83, 77, you know, really high percentage. So Hawkeye is actually doing much, much better. So it seems that in some sense, accuracy does matter for the miniguns. And I've actually done that test quite a lot, and every single time, the Hawkeyes always win. But now we're going to try a slightly different one. We're going to have, as before, the Hawkeyes all aiming at uh, the at the drills, but the squinties are going to aim just right behind it. Let's see how that plays out. All right, now here the squinties uh, are all done when only only two left, and that is what I found every time I've tried this test as well. If the squinties are aiming kind of just right behind the drill, then they tend to, on average, you know, finish first. If we just run the drills, the Hawkeyes come in later. And if the Hawkeyes and the Squinties are both aiming right behind the drill, then they come to come in at the exact same time. So what's going on? Well, the story is basically this. So as I noted, the minigun has a forest miss radius of 2.9 tiles. We'll just round it up to three to make the math a little simpler. That's what the circle here in this mod represents. Now suppose I target, say, right here. Then what happens is when my colonist pulls the trigger, and shoots its 30 bullets, because that's how much a burst is for a minigun, the game will assign each of these bullets to one of the tiles in the circle. And each tile has an equal chance of getting assigned by a bullet. Then the bullet is going to follow a path to its uh, intercepted tile. Now, one of two things that happen. It can either reach its tile or it can be intercepted. We'll talk about interception in a bit, but if it reaches one of the tiles other than the one with the targeted thing, and if there's something to hit in that tile, then it's going to hit it. But if it goes to the tile that was aimed for, then the accuracy calculation kicks in. So, for instance, if the accuracy calculation is a shot a 50% chance of hitting the target, then that means if the bullet happens to land on the targeted tile, then it's only the 50% chance to hit the thing that's in the tile. So if you set aside interceptions, the odds are like this. For every tile in the radius, except the one aimed for, there's a little bit less than a 5% chance its given bullet will hit something on a tile. But in the target tile, that's less. It's 5%, but it's scaled down by the accuracy of the gun plus the shooter. Now, I thought supposing that the bullet in question doesn't get intercepted, but it might. When a bullet traces a path with a signed tile, it might pass through tiles where there are pawns or other entities. And if so, there's a chance they might hit that pawn instead. This is the intercept chance. Now, if we turn on the show shooting in the dev tools, we can see this in action. So Hawkeye's aiming back here. Let's watch her fire. And you see all of these little percentages coming up. So we see that there's this 40% chance for this uh, enemy pawn here. And for this friendly pawn, it goes back down to 16 and for pawns that are lying down, which we don't see, it goes down to 10% of the original. Also, for an immovable object like uh, this rock here, it's 7%, this percentage of the object's cover bonus. So what's going on is as the bullet traces out a path to that tile, that's the percentage that the bullet might hit, the bullet kind of passing the tile, might hit 
the, the, the pawn or the object in that tile. So with all of this, we can understand the experiments we started out with. With the target, when we target the drill itself, there are two ways it might get hit. It might get hit by the bullets assigned to the tile, but it might get hit by the bullets on the way to the two tiles behind it. So on average, the accuracy of the shooter won't affect how many bullets it intercepts on the way to the tiles, but it will affect how many bullets assigned to the target tile actually hit. So the more accurate shooters hit more often when they hit on that tile, and so they destroy it faster. Now, when we have these guys shooting behind the drill, two things happen. First, the drill now has a chance of intercepting three bullets heading behind it instead of two. And second, since it's not the target, the bullets assigned to that tile can hit it flat out without any accuracy calculation. So what does this all mean? Well, defensively, it means the safest place to be in a minigun fight is the target. If a minigun is shooting at you, don't move till the round is done and then get behind cover as soon as you can. And offensively, it means the best place to aim is at least three tiles behind the target that you want to hit. And we can do the math on this. So each round fires a total of 30 bullets, and each bullet has a 4.76 chance to hit towards a given tile in the circle. If there's a pawn right here, then there's about five tiles behind him in the circle. That means that each of those 30 bullets has about a 23.8% chance of hitting towards one of those tiles. That gives us an average of four point, sorry, 7.14 bullets heading past the pawn, assuming no one in front of him is catching him. So let's round that down to seven bullets. Each of those has a 60% chance to miss. So timings those all together, it's only a 2.8% chance that all of them miss. In other words, on average, there's almost a 98% chance that this pawn is going to hit by at least one bullet. And this is where the money gets its power. It's not just that it's good for a large mass of targets, even though it is. When you're shooting behind the targets you want to hit, you're filling the air with lots of bullets, and each one has a very high chance of striking your enemies. So this can be used to make a pretty effective minigun-based offense. So here we have a 30-tile-long tunnel, only three tiles wide, and it's set up so we can only let in a very few number of raiders at a time. So let's just call in the very biggest uh, pirate raid we can. And then let, let's get six of these guys shooting down the tunnel. And we will uh, stagger them so that when, when one starts firing, the next one starts warming up. So that there's always some bullets that are coming down the pipe. And in vanilla RimWorld, of course, you can't aim at a spot like this, but you can put in a sleeping spot or put in a, a grave or anything like that. You can aim at it, or you can just use the mod that I'm using. And then we'll just wait for these guys to come up and see what happens. And as you can see, these guys just get taken down. They cannot get very far. They've got a couple of shots off, especially in the back. We don't have really good uh, defenses. And now they are running away. Look at them, tail between their legs, and they go. They just get mowed down. If you want to, you can increase the power of defenses by putting deadfall traps all along in here too. But as you can see, there's really no need. Six miniguns sends the raid packing. So that's how miniguns work and how to use them for the best effect. As always, let me know in the comments what you'd like to learn about next. I've got some great episodes planned based on some of your suggestions, so keep them coming. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon.